The server is six months old. This period saw major changes to not just the community, but to the server itself. We are in the middle of a second Reddit ad invasion with a constant flow of new and old players interacting, changing the server environment constantly. With Pest Control recently losing their main base, Slimehaven, and now in need of a new group home, with new powerful enemies and alliances forming, this is the story of Pest Control. The month is August, year 2020, and for many around this time on the server, it can be defined by the constant griefing from the cunts. They had built a major reputation for themselves, claiming to have had a base-finding exploit, making many players feel unsafe wherever they were in the world. With daily griefs paired with toxic posts on Reddit rubbing dirt into the wound, the rumours of their so-called exploit went wild. This quickly made each member of the team some of the most disliked people on the server for this time. It was discussed where we could build a new base, and we decided that an end base could potentially offer the safest location as well as a new dimension most of the group had yet to build in before, allowing new designs and innovations. It was decided, and we set out scouting for the end for good locations, eventually choosing a large end island to hollow out and call home. The postman and myself started work and decided that this base could not just be limited to pest control members and could allow us to meet new people. During this time, a new player named Maxman1x2 reached out to me and stated his interest in potentially joining pest control. We had not wanted to take in new members at this point without knowing if they could fully be trusted. This base could offer a good test, so with this in mind, a teleport was sent to Maxman and we started the dig together. As time went on, more and more members of Pest Control started to join us at this location and it quickly turned from a test base for new players to a Pest Control base, with farms, storage, private rooms for each members and a gallery displaying a variety of map arts. Pest Control was back and Slime Haven was a distant memory which could be looked back on positively but we knew it was time to move forward and plan for the future. Meanwhile, with the growing number of bases getting griefed, with a so-called exploit being the cause, an increasing amount of pressure was being put on Aurera to find the cause and patch it. Aurera refused to accept that there was an exploit, and was so confident that there was not one, he put $500 on the line for anyone who could expose what the exploit was. This was not just a confident move, it was a smart one, as by putting the money up for grabs, it caused the player Ethan to expose himself and reveal the base finding method, which was not an exploit. This stopped him finding bases with this method, and due to the fact that there was no exploit, Alrera did not have to pay the money, making it a win-win situation and a total loss for the griefers. Now, let me explain what the method actually was. On core journey, as standard you will have two distances displayed on your screen one shown the distance from the core, and the other the distance from spawn. There are four locations for spawn, and obviously one core. So if a player shows a screenshot exposing these two numbers, the cunts were able to use maths to create a circle around both core and the spawn zones, with the radii set to the number value. And where the lines intercepted, this would be in the location the screenshot was taken from. By using this method, they had been able to find a multitude of bases. But with this so-called exploit exposed to the community, everyone could finally relax and just know to be more careful in the future. However, a large amount of damage had already been done, which could not be repaired. And by creating an exploit rumor during a Reddit ad period, so many potential players had quit the server already. Now, if we go back to the beginning of Core Journey, right back to the start, before any of the Reddit ad invasions, even before the formation of Pest Control, a single player will come up, Quinevere. And for anyone who doesn't know who this man is, he was the first ever player to reach Core, first player to defeat the End Dragon, meaning he potentially was the owner of the Dragon Egg, which had never been seen by active players at this stage. 
He is a major part of the server history, and up to this point, he was almost like a server myth, as no one had seen or heard from him since he reached core. After months of research, speaking to old players and going through old core journey media, I was able to find one way of contacting him. I reached out to Quinevere, and after months has passed, I was starting to lose hope, until finally, I got a response. I was fortunate enough to speak with him and learn a lot about Core Journey and how the server had changed. For instance, something many players today, including myself, can't imagine is when he reached Core, being the first player there, he could leave his shulkers out in the open with his valuables in, as there was no need to hide anything. With the levelling system being much harder back in the day, no one was even close to the Core, and he had nothing to fear by being there. Being the first player to reach Core was by no means a small achievement, and he told me he had a big interest in speedrunning games, and this made Core Journey an interesting server for him to play on and race to reach the Core. But once he reached the Core, he achieved his personal goal. The motivation for him to play had gone due to the player count being so low during this period. After our discussion, he decided to join Core Journey again, and we invited him to our end base, meeting all the members of Pest Control. We showed him around and explained our origins and our history, and to our surprise, he entrusted us with the Dragon Egg. He also showed me a one-of-a-kind item he received from the server owner, Alrera, which was a signed book congratulating him for being the first player making it to the core, making this book one of the few unique items of core journey. But this big achievement was bittersweet. Bearskates420 posted a photo of Quinevere in our base with the dragon egg on Reddit. In a rush to show off the accomplishment, he left the coordinates of the base in the photo. With the base compromised, there was a panic to clear out the chests and everything of value and await the griefers to arrive. With no fast travel in the end, this brought us some time, but we knew we were sat on a time bomb, awaiting for the detonation. As expected, within a day, the base had been griefed by none other than the cunts, claiming to have found yet another exploit, but this time, no one listened. However, with the loss of yet another base, this put us back to square one, in need of a new home. But what was to come next in the journey of the group would shake pest control to the core.